All right, everyone. So for the tutorial for Karma, there are a couple prerequisites, some that are definitely recommended, some that are more required, and I'm going to get into that right now. So what you should know is the scissor cut. You should know trigger. Uh, it would help to know bullet and it would help to know Ferris, but those two are not required and learning how to pivot a card would also help. So pivoting, ferris, and bullet, not required, but recommended, and then required would be scissor cut and doing trigger. Um, and let's get into the combo and we'll start teaching it. So uh, I guess without being <clears throat> needing to be said, you do need to know your grips as well. And we're gonna start off in Z grip. Um, it will be actually in raised straddle grip or raised dealer script depending on how you define it but it's so that you can put it be in this position index at the top short side middle ring on the long side um, in your dealer's grip hand and pinky at the short bottom side uh, thumb should be able to come off of this so this uh, packet can sit and what you're going to do is when you do z grip leave about half the deck in the bottom packet and it's going to be the cleanest for you for this whole flourish um, so from here what you're going to do is you're going to pivot off the top card and your thumb on your dealer's grip hand is going to make contact with the back short side of the third packet down or the middle packet from the Z grip. Then what's going to happen here is your index finger is going to move and slide down the packet, pinching the card between your thumb and your middle finger. You want to make sure this corner specifically right here, uh, right now it's the top left corner, but that is going to become the bottom right corner as it clears. You want to make sure that when it pivots, this corner comes back down and clears past this middle finger. So when you come back up with the, the thumb in the middle pinching it, that it's able to slide up sideways like this. So from the beginning, raise Z, pivot a card off, push it in the top third and pivot it off your middle finger like so. Thumb contacts the back side here. Index finger pulls down, that corner clears, and then it slides out like this. What's gonna happen here is you can just perform the scissor cut in your dealer's grip hand. Uh, I like to do a certain variation of it, so I actually release my index finger off and pull it out wider. If you guys have seen any of my other moves, you know I love doing this, where I curl my pinky in and kind of hold this packet like this in my dealer's grip hand. Um, and then you could hold the packet like this if you wanted to, or you can just complete and close the scissor cut. So I like to do that just to make it look a little more dramatic so it comes out here, you can kind of move it independently from the other packet and then close it. Um, and then you're going to perform this weird Ferris movement and then do trigger. So I'm going to show you what that looks like now. So you go to the Z grip, you push out your thumb, contacts this packet, slides out and comes back. But on its way to separate, it contacts this long side of this card so that it can be turned around and face this way. So now you've got the short side perpendicular to um, this long side and then you start to separate out that scissor cut you can do a regular scissor cut if you want or you can do my dramatic extended scissor cut that takes it and uh, moves the index finger away but now we're to one of the more complicated parts which is taking this and doing something that looks like this into trigger so if you've ever learned learned if you've ever learned the move ferris it looks something like this it's a one card twirl and we're using some similar mechanics or physics from that move to make this card turn over. Um, when you get to this position, what's gonna happen is you wanna make sure you're gripping this packet with your ring finger and your middle finger and thumb, because what's gonna happen is you're actually gonna end up with just the ring finger on there. What's gonna happen is this middle finger is gonna move underneath um, this face side of the card, which is why it's helpful to learn bullet because your index is continuing to push, but then it's going to push off the deck and you're actually going to pinch it between your index and your middle finger like this. So now it will be extended off the packet like so. What's going to happen is you're actually going to rotate your middle finger over top of your index finger and you're going to end up in a place like this. Now what happens, this is super cool because it involves just some gravity, is you can wipe it along the deck if you want to kind of drop it over, or I figured out that you can do this where you slide it up here and then you're just by letting go um, with your middle finger, it hits the long side of this packet and actually kind of flips over itself. So it's, it's like doing this essentially. 
having it pulled over enough to where this card essentially gets pushed by that packet and flips over itself. So I'll walk you through that again. Z grip, pivot a card out, thumb at the back short side, index brings the finger down or brings the card down, excuse me. Uh, thumb and middle finger now pinch this card between to separate that out. This kind of does an, a dramatic extension, however you want to make that look. And while this packet is closing, this middle finger is grabbing this card off the top with the index, turning it upside down, and is now allowing it to fall. So the middle finger lets go so that it can fall. Your index can kind of help push it over if you need to, but your middle finger lets go. And then this scoops onto there. And from here, you're holding the packet. Sometimes I go like this and kind of hold the deck. Um, actually, I have to walk it through to see where I'm at. So I'll do this and display it kind of out like this. So you can have these kind of facing the audience like this. And I'm gripping the packet with my ring and thumb now. And then when I put it down, I am positioning, I'm taking the long side here and wrapping it around my thumb so that my index finger can grab the other long side and you can bring it into trigger. So I'll walk you through that one more time and then we'll be done with karma. So what you do is you Z grip, thumb on the dealer's grip contacts the back side while this card pivots out from the index. Index finger slides the short side down, make sure this corner clears the middle finger. This thumb pulls it up and now the long sides are contacted between the thumb and the middle. Index still pinches down on this to allow these two packets to split apart. The dealer's grip hand will perform scissor cut or the dramatic scissor cut, whichever one you want to do, and close it while Make sure your ring finger's on there. I didn't do that correctly, actually. Make sure your ring finger is on there the whole time when gripping this packet because it's going to allow you to now, while this is closing, start to turn this over. So index pushes out and it's gonna kind of flick off. So you'll feel the card having some pressure and bending and this corner is gonna flick off like that. Turn this upside down. <clears throat> Come here, middle finger lets go comes across and then this packet that's now held between your ring and your thumb will come around this dealer's grip thumb to make contact with the index finger like this. This will grab to show that you're doing trigger and that's pretty much it. And then the one thing that I do that's a subtlety in the middle that might help is just this. So when I drop the card here, I, I pull up a little bit just to kind of give a more display and then go around that thumb and perform trigger. And guys, that is the tutorial for Karma. I hope you liked it. There are some slow-mos at the end of this if you want to walk through it motion by motion after the verbal explanation. And I appreciate you guys a ton for watching and learning this move. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.